Greetings Invasion Nation, it is time for the annual review of the latest WWE franchise game. This year it is WWE 2K15, this is for the PlayStation 4 system. Starting things right off, let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. We've got, unfortunately, a lot of the bad and the ugly, and let's start with the creation mode. We're looking at my version of Goldberg, the texture I downloaded from Community Creations. And quite honestly, to do anything that looks even close to the wrestlers that you're looking for, you would almost have to have some sort of a texture download. You're looking here at the different ways you can morph the heads, and you have nowhere near the control that you've had in several of the past year's games. It makes it incredibly hard to get any accuracy. Granted, it's their first release, I get all that, but they've also had two years to get things together. We're looking here at some of the options you have for facial hair, very limited. But unfortunately, that's not where the limitations end. It's not just the hair. It's all the accessories that go with building your own creative wrestler. Everything from the facial hair to the eyebrows, glasses, hats, incredibly limited this year. Sadly, these limitations go on beyond just the creating of a superstar. It goes on to the entrances. Whether it's singles or tag team, your entrance options, it's, it's embarrassing. You have only the roster superstars to select from, and the one generic that they left in was the idiot on the cell phone, like anyone's gonna use that. You couldn't have put the generic entrance in? That's amazingly short-sighted in my opinion. The tag teams, again, extremely limited to just the roster tag team options for entrances. None of the past ones exist. You want the Hardy Boys? It's not in there anymore. You want Team 3D? Not in there. You want all the teams that have been there, the Road Warriors, all the entrances that have been there for years and years, all not there. Your options are so slim in the creation mode. Take to that, they've also deleted creating Divas. That's not an option at all. You can no longer create a ring or an arena. All gone. At the this point, I'm asking myself, what the hell are they giving ball. us? Making the only saving grace is that the graphics look great, which again, and it's next gen, we expect that. From Montreal, Quebec, and the wrestling Wait, is what? definitely better. I will miles. say that I agree that Sammy. it looks better. Sammy. It looks a little bit more WWE realistic. And for then control. there's the fatigue Here meter. We go with and Sammy then there's Zane. this grappling meter. I'm not sure how I feel about it. There's parts of it that I kind of like, but I don't know that it's necessary. I'm still on the fence. If they didn't take away everything else, I'd probably like it a lot more. So here we're looking at some highlights from one of the matches. I will say the commentary has definitely He's improved. Now when uh, Jerry Lawler is talking and Michael Cole are talking, they're actually referencing some past history of the wrestlers involved or other famous feuds that are reminded. Here's one of the great moves they have in the Oh My God moments. All right, guys, I'm going to let you watch some of this video. He's on touch base with you towards the end. He wasted no time going for that pin. Mm. Oh, my. He's setting up. Uh-oh, trying to put him away. What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. He's wearing him down with a very effective submission hold. So 
while the in ring wrestling is really well done, let's talk about the facts. The facts are the created wrestlers are garbage. Let's talk about the fact that you can't build an arena. Let's talk about the fact they took out the create a story mode. Bottom line is this, guys, you cannot take that much out of a franchise game in the next gen release and then still charge full price for it. I give this game on a scale of 1 to 10, my all-time lowest rating for a WWE game. This rate, this game gets rated 6, and that's being generous. Thank you for those of you that were able to join me on Saturday for the premiere broadcast on Ustream and the PlayStation 4 Network. We are doing a stream each week of a universe mode that has been set into motion. If you can find out more about it Friday after SmackDown. That's when we reveal the big part of the storyline. If you've been a longtime viewer of this program, then you'll probably already have an inside edge to that. Please feel free to join me Fridays after SmackDown, Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Once again, look for Invasion Nation or you can look for Old School WWF as the gamer tag. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you ringside.